Hi, I'm Dr. Clifton Clark, your Global Empowerment Strategist. Over the years, I've been blessed. God has helped me to travel all over the world. Recently, I've lost count of the amount of countries that I've visited, and cities and villages, and preaching the gospel and sharing the good news of Jesus. I count it a privilege. You know, I've been reflecting upon the Word of God, where Jesus says in, Matthew, in, rather, in Mark chapter 16 and verse 15, and it says, he said unto them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Go into all the world. One of my areas that I like to talk about and train is the notion of being a global leader. Recently, people have seen me all over the world in different cultures and contexts. And they've been asking me, how do you globalize your ministry? What are the principles? You know, globalization, which is a word that came around right about the 1980s, has to do with integration. It has to do with interaction and integration. All things are being integrated. Technology, geography, migration, immigrate, all kinds of things are coming together. This is a platform in which God has given us so that the gospel can be preached in all the world. And I believe that God is calling for global leaders. And I want to just give you very uh, simply four principles of global leadership. The first one is vision. You have to have a vision that exceeds your locality and your location. To be a global leader, you must be able to see beyond your cultural context and geographical location, your congregation, your city. You have to have a panoramic view. Your prayers are not just localized, but globalized. You see nations, you see uh, ethnic groups, you see people from all over the world. And your heart weeps for unreached people groups. And you desire and you desire in your prayers and your ministry to transcend your own geographical location and cultural identity. So vision, having a global vision like Jesus, Jesus said, go into all the world and preach the gospel. And so first of all, you need to have vision, vision for the world. Secondly, you need to have a calling, a global calling. God has to call you and place you on a global platform. You know when you're called, your heart weeps for different nations. You're interested in different cultures. You want to meet different people in different locations. You desire with ease to travel across the world. I'm getting ready to, to go to Ghana in the next few days. My heart is ready. I'm excited because I'm called to this. I just came back from Japan and the Philippines not because I'm looking for a vacation or looking to glamorize my social media platform, but because my heart bleeds for the loss. And I'm willing to go to any extent, not just to preach the gospel, but to train leaders and to raise them up. Not only must you be called, but you need a global theology. A theology that is not just limited to your location, your tradition, your culture, but a theology which wherever you preach it can be grasped by different people. A theology that is not laced with idiosyncrasies and cultural nuances that belong to your location or your church tradition. You have to be able to understand that God is able to work through cultural nuances and grab a hold of the core of the gospel and not be lost in the nuances. And so a global theology is concerned with the simplicity of the gospel which transcends culture. As Andrew Walls once says, and Lamin Sana, equally, the gospel is infinitely transferable. Lastly, you need to be called to be a global leader. That you're not only someone called to lead people from your ethnic group, your national group, or your uh, whatever group, but you're called and you see that you can lead people 
from different culture and context. A part of this leadership is that God will give you a global authority. That you know that you have authority to preach the gospel across the world and you have the apostolic mantle to raise people up from all ethnic groups. When you are called as a global leader, people will follow you and look beyond, hallelujah, your, your own ethnicity or your own background or church tradition because they recognized that God is calling you to lead. And a part of this too, the leadership, is submission. That even though God has given you a global platform and that with the global gospel, you are able to submit to God and to submit to national leadership in other locations. Over the next few weeks and months, I'm going to be sharing more about how you can be a global leader and how you can globalize your ministry and your business. If you are interested in hearing more, receiving resources about globalizing your business and ministry, please leave me a message and I'll sure leave me in contact with you. God bless you and have a great day.